Okay, I'm going to show you how to download and then how to set up Audacity. It's not too hard, but you know, if you're sitting alone at your computer, it, it can be a little confusing. First of all, open your browser. And where you're going to go is a u d a c i t y audacity dot sourceforge one word dot net and you obviously have Windows because you're using Live Movie Maker. So you're going to download Audacity 2.0 and click on it and it will begin downloading. I already have it, so I'm going to cancel that. You would wait for yours to download. Now, the other thing you need to download is your plugins and libraries. Click the download tab up here. Go over here to plugins and libraries. Okay. Now what you need to what you need is the uh, lame plugin. There we go. Which will allow you to export MP3s, which you don't really need, but some of us like that. Okay, here we go. How do I download? Go to the download page. Okay, and then scroll down past the red bar. Okay, lame on Windows. You're going to click the first one, and it will also begin a download. You'll let that download. It's a quick download. There we go. All done. Now, once again, you're going to go to Start, Your Name, whoever the administrator is, Downloads, and you'd find Audacity, and you would, I already have it in mind, this is a relatively new computer, so here it is, okay, and you'd set it up. And you're going to find the lame for Windows and to install it. You can't install it now. You have to install Audacity first. So first you're going to find your Audacity icon and you're going to double click on it and install it. And after Audacity install, then you find this lame version 3.99.3 for Windows and you just click on it and it automatically will install in Audacity. There are some other downloads you can install also if you get used to using Audacity, but actually that's all you need for now. Now let's open Audacity. Here's my audio folder. And it looks very complicated when you first open it up. Welcome. Okay. And let's make it bigger. I have everything minimized so I can uh, show you on the, the, uh, the video here. Audacity looks confusing, especially you don't know what any of these icons mean yet, and that's okay. Here's what you want to do. File. First of all, when you first open it, go to Edit, Preferences, click on Libraries, and it'll say the export. It'll say Lame is installed, and it will say your FFmpeg library is also installed. Now, we want to put our audio file into Audacity to remove the noise. Click on File, Import, Audio. Now, mine's on the desktop. So I'll go all the way down to the bottom here where those files are. There it is. It's a WAV file. Open. It'll give you a choice of import methods. Make a copy of the file. Don't load. Okay. And there it is. See how fast that happens? Now, the buttons up here in Audacity work just like the buttons you're used to. Pause, play, stop, go to the uh, beginning, go to the end, and this is for record. You don't want to touch this one yet. So if you play this, I got a lot of bird. I got a lot of bird songs. Now, what you want to do is remove the noise. And I have another, this particular audio I've put, I've imported, uh, 
won't remove the noise. But let's pretend I've removed the noise and I want to then go to, I'm done, go to File, Export. Okay. And that'll give me a choice. I can export it as any of these. I'm going to export it as a WAV file to use in Movie Maker. Give it a name if you don't want it to have the same name as it has. And then just give it a place, save in. I don't want it saved in my edited files. I'm going to save it back to my desktop. And then just click Save and it exports it for you. Okay, then you can take it back into Movie Maker. We'll do that again. Okay. Oops, let's cancel this. And then the other video I've already made shows you how to use the noise removal tool. And uh, then you pretty well be set. I'll, I'll put up another video that will show you how to get that audio back into your, uh, into your Movie Maker file.